TLE ICG CSS 7 Quarter 1 Lesson 5 Let's try. As a part of your initial activity, try to assess your prior knowledge and experience related with the practices of occupational safety and health procedure. Direction, identify the type of hazard being described in each statement. Choose your answer inside the box. Physical hazard, psychological hazard, chemical hazard, biological hazard, ergonomic hazard, and electrical hazard. Number one, overlooking untied cables and wires. Yes, that is electrical hazard. Number two, playing computer games while eating. Yes, that is biological hazard. Number three, worrying due to stress and depressions. Yes, that is a psychological hazard. Number four, using laptop for almost half of the day. Yes, that is physical hazard. Touching an open cable wires accidentally. Yes, that is electrical hazard. Number six, forgetting cable wire and charger to unplug. Yes, electrical hazard. Number seven, falling victim of bullying and violence at work. Yes, psychological hazard. Number eight, irritating hands due to keyboard acquires microorganisms. Yes, biological hazard. Number nine, having back pain due to overlook in front of the computer. Yes, that is ergonomic hazard. And number 10, looking at the computer screen for extended period of time. Yes, that is physical hazard. If you got it all, very good. Lesson 5 is about practice occupational safety and health procedures. In this lesson, you will identify hazard and risk, evaluate and control hazard and risk, and maintain occupational health and safety. Let's recall. Match the statement in column A with the word with column B. Write the letter of the correct answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number one, it is labeled with a letter in a small circle. Yes, the correct answer is connector. Number two, it is drawn in one direction of the top to bottom. Yes, letter C, arrow line. Number three, it is a process presented in a rectangle with double lines on each side. Yes, the correct answer is E, sub-process. Number five, it is a process answerable by yes or no presented in a diamond sheet. Yes, that is A, decision. And number five, it is reversed to the, an action in a business process presented in a rectangular shape. Yes, that is letter B process. Let's elaborate. To reduce the risk of electrical injury, it's important to understand many hazards that can exist in one workplace. In this manner, the lesson emphasizes the different hazard and risk that a technician might encounter and face during at work. It highlights different ways of how to control hazards. Hazard, it can cause harm and damage and can give unfavorable health effect to people in the workplace. Risk is the possibility of a person being injured or having a bad health effect due to hazard. Types of hazard. Number one, biological hazard. It includes virus, bacteria, insect, and animal feces that can cause harm to humans. Example are mold, dust, blood, vermin, parasites, and other bodily fluid. This biological hazard are transferable from one area to another and can easily affect vulnerable parts of the body. Chemical hazard. The nature of chemical hazard depends on the properties of the chemical used in store on the premises. It includes both health and physical hazards such as skin irritation, radiation, and carcinogen. Ergonomic hazard. It is a result of physical factors that lead to musculoskeletal injuries. The hazard includes workstation setup, 
poor posture and manual handling. Using computer for more than 8 hours might damage your physical posture like bended backbone or muscle pain. Physical hazard. Physical hazard is a result of environmental factors and it includes height, vibration, radiation, and pressure. Being in front of computer may lead us to the direct exposure to its radiation that may cause blindness to some. Also, by using gadgets like cell phone and other electronic games, its vibration can cause the shaking of our hands and the pressure can be caused physically. Psychological hazard. Psychological hazard includes hazard that can be an adverse effect of an individual's mental health, including stress, pressure, bullying, and violence in workplace. Due to excessive exposure to your computer and gadgets, stress comes out that may lead to anxiety and depression. Risk assessment. It is the process where hazard and risk factors are identified and have the potential to cause harm. It analyzes and evaluates the risk associated with hazard, and it determines appropriate ways to eliminate the hazard and control the risk where the hazard cannot eliminate it. Adverse health effect. In any change of the body function or structure of cells that can lead to disease and health problems, the effect of adverse health includes disease, injury, genetics, decrease in lifespan, and change in the way the body functions and grow and develop. There is also change in mental conditions resulting from stress, traumatic experience, and exposure to solvent and etc. Elimination. It is the process of removing the hazard from workplace. It is the most effective way to control the risk because the hazard is no longer present. In the, it is important to consider the work, health and safety when work process and still in the planning stage. Substitution. It is of course when a new chemical or substance is used instead of another chemical. It is sometimes grouped with elimination because in effect you're removing the substance or hazard from the workplace. Good housekeeping. It is necessary to prevent the accumulation of hazardous and toxic materials such as buildup of dust, contaminants of unlegist beams and more and poor stockpiling. Emergency preparedness. Being prepared for emergencies means making sure that the necessary equipments and supplies are readily available. The employees know what to do when something unplanned happens such as release, spills, fires, or injury. And personal protective equipment or PPE. It consists of items such as respirator, protective clothing, gloves, face shields, and eye protection of, and footwear. This serves to provide a barrier between the wearer and the chemical. It is a final item that lives for a very good condition.